What is up you guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Thomas and I post fashion content here on YouTube. Hope you're all having a great day today. I'm gonna put my Instagram on the screen so you guys can go check me out over there if you want. Today's video is a very special one. About three weeks ago, one of my favorite brands called Post Archive Faction sent me a DM and they were like, hey, we're releasing a new collection. Would you like to review some of the pieces on your YouTube channel? I said, absolutely. So they sent me a few things and that's what today's video is gonna be about. Before I get into the stuff they sent me, I do want to talk a little bit about the brand. So Post Archive Faction is a South Korean brand that was founded in 2018 by a guy named Dong Jun Lim. He went to school for industrial design and spatial design, but ended up kind of self-teaching himself how to be a fashion designer after college. So he started the brand in 2018. In 2020, the brand collaborated with Off-White. Prior to Virgil Abloh passing away, they did a collection, these ghillie suit-esque pants and jackets with this leaf texture on them. I believe they also did some bags and stuff too. You might have seen the photo of Bloody Osiris on the runway with the flag. It's a really sick collection and that kind of put Post Archive Faction on the map for a lot of people, at least it did for me. The very next year in 2021, Post Archive Faction, I'm just gonna say PAF for sure because it's easier, but PAF was a semi-finalist for the LVMH Prize Award, which is a really, really big deal. In more recent times, they did a collaboration with a brand called OnCloud, which I'm sure you guys have heard of. It's like a running shoe brand. They released a footwear silhouette with the brand in a black and white colorway, and then I believe they released like three or four clothing items as well. The last thing I want to say about the brand is they break up all of their pieces into three categories, left, center, and right. All of the right pieces are more conservative, traditional clothing pieces like a work jacket or a straight fitting pair of pants or a t-shirt. These are all things that would be considered right items. On the left side, you have more experimental designs, more unique cuts, sometimes louder colors, and these are the more standout type of pieces. And then they have a center line of clothing, which which is kind of a bridge between the two. But enough of me yapping. I hope that was a good background information segment on the brand. I can leave a link down below to an interview that the founder did. It's a very interesting video. He kind of talks more in depth about the design language and his motivation and his inspiration for creating a lot of these clothes. But anyways, I'm just gonna get right into the pieces now. I'm editing this clip into the video because I forgot to mention this the other day when I was recording, but the 7.0 collection is live on the PAF website. So you guys can go check it out. Everything from the new collection is gonna be 10% off until September 6th, but you guys enjoy the rest of the video. First up is this down puffer jacket. This is an absolute unit of a jacket. It's a really pillowy, warm goose down jacket. I believe it's an 80-20 Hungarian goose. It has a matte finish to it, and as you can tell, there's like these crinkles that all come from the armpits because the fabric is cinched, gives it this really cool texture, and adds a completely new element to the jacket. I'm gonna be wearing this a ton this winter. It's very, very warm. It's got a two way zipper on the front has interior pockets on it you can cinch the bottom at the waist if you wanted it to fit a little tighter this is just literally everything i look for in a puffer jacket it's perfect this colorway is called the charcoal colorway and i'm a really big fan of it so what i'm going to be doing with each of the pieces is styling them in an outfit in my wardrobe just to show you how i would wear them so for the first outfit it's going to be that puffer jacket and then this pair of pants these are also from a south korean designer called xlim i think the slight shine of these pants and the matte finish of the jacket it is a really nice contrast. For the shoes, I'll be throwing on these new military boots that I picked up at a thrift store recently. This is a really cohesive outfit. It keeps things interesting, but at the same time, it's not doing too much. You're just wearing black and gray with a pair of military boots. It has a very utilitarian look to it. And I'm probably gonna be repeating this outfit multiple times throughout this fall winter. Next up, we have a pair of pants. These are the 7.0 Technical Pants Center. This is the light gray colorway of the pant. And they have a pretty straight fit, but what's unique about these pants is on the back. There's a zipper on each side. It starts on the back. It works its way around the front of the leg and then back down to the back hem. And what's cool about this zipper is you can just adjust the way the pants fit. So if you just slightly unzip the bottom hem, you can kind of create a flare effect where the pant just kind of flaps open over the shoe. Recently, I've realized all my pants are black. So I'm really glad to have a lighter colored pant. The measurements on these are spot on. They couldn't fit me any better and they go perfectly into my wardrobe. I'm going to be pairing these up with a post archive faction piece that I already had in my wardrobe. It's a jacket in the exact same light gray colorway. I wear this jacket all the time. It has these really cool elbow hits on it as well. For the shoes, I'll be throwing on these Reebok Road Premier Moderns. Very modern silhouette of a shoe. I'm also going to throw on this nylon cap from Jacove. I don't usually wear monotone outfits unless they're just all black. This is a very cohesive outfit, obviously, because the colors are the exact same, but the jacket and the pants are the exact same 
material. It just works very, very well. It's not doing too much. It's a very minimalistic outfit and I like it a lot. The next piece is this 7.0 fleece right and the light gray colorway. This is the softest piece of clothing I've ever owned. If I'm playing my PS5, I'm definitely wearing this. It's just so soft, so cozy. It's a very lightweight fabric. Extending from the collar down to the arms and shoulders, there's this ribbed material that is also very soft. And then on the back of the elbows, you kind of have these panels that come up in this curve shape, darting on the shoulders. And on the front, you have two little pockets on each side. The zipper has this little suede pull tab on it, which is a nice touch. This is a great mid layer or a, a great jacket to wear when it's like 60 degrees outside. So for this outfit, I'm gonna pair that jacket up with these Jacove six pocket cargos. While the jacket does have a couple of different textures going on with the ribbed fabric and the regular cotton fabric, these kind of stack up on the shoes and create a baggier, more exaggerated effect for the bottom half of the outfit. For the shoes on this outfit, I went with the 11 by BBS Solomon Bomba 3Xs. I've been wearing these shoes a ton. I brought these to France with me and wore them like almost every day. The light gray on these shoes goes very well with the fleece and it just kind of brings the whole outfit together. I'm also gonna be throwing on my Oakley sunglasses with this outfit. I, they're in my car, I'm pretty sure, so I don't have them in hand, but you'll see what the outfit looks like on body. I've been wearing these cargo pants a ton recently. The last piece I'm gonna be showing you guys is this 7.0 long sleeve center and the warm gray colorway. I love long sleeve t-shirts. I don't have enough of them. This warm gray color is really nice. It's kind of like a beige, but it's a little closer to a brown, I feel like. It has a really cool pattern and construction to it. There's these curved seams running all over the shirt where you can tell that the different pieces of fabric were stitched together. It has a longer fit in the body, which I don't mind. And the sleeves are a little longer. They kind of cover up my hand up to like my knuckle. It has a very soft hand feel to it. And I'll be styling this underneath jackets a lot this fall and winter as a mid layer. I'll be styling that long sleeve with these shorts from Entire Studios. These can be worn as pants or shorts. They're actually in the short form right now. You can just zip the bottom off, as you can see I've done here. I don't know if it's just me, but I've seen a lot of people wearing longer shorts recently. When the boots almost like meet the shorts because they're so long, I think it's a really cool look. I'm gonna throw on those military boots from the first outfit. I also am gonna throw on this Suno bag from Ground Cover. It's like a little over the shoulder bag you can wear. I usually use this when I go to the grocery store and stuff. This is one of the more experimental outfits of the video. It's very military-esque with the colors and the boots. Obviously, nobody in the military is wearing shorts this long, but I'm a really big fan of how they fit. I'm definitely looking for more shorts that fit this way, so if you guys know of any of those, definitely comment down below. But that is gonna be the last outfit of the video. I really appreciate you guys watching. I'm gonna be posting a pickups video here very soon. I've accumulated a lot of items. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, just comment anything, any comments help my engagement. And also subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed today's video. I gotta stop talking with my hands. I don't know why I can't stop doing that. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.